Meanwhile, former Vice President Wu Duanyi was seen in several local activities today, prompting speculation that the KMT heavyweight hopes to run in the KMT party chairman elections next year. That's right, Ken. Wu, for his part, said he had not made a decision on whether to run and express supports for the KMT's bid for a constitutional interpretation of a recently enacted law empowering the government to set up a commission for investigating and retrieving party assets. Even though it was Sunday, former Vice President Wu Donyi attended two civic events in succession, raising speculation that this was a warm-up for the KMT's party chairman election next year. I hope everyone won't place all their attention on who plans to run for party chairman. I currently haven't made a decision. The party is facing issues relating to the management of party assets. Requesting a constitutional interpretation is a path we must take. Although Wu seemed to be avoiding questions about running in the party chairman election, the KMT's internal assessments have found that Wu has sufficient experience and can attract nativist votes, a big threat for the incumbent party chairwoman Hong Xiaoju. With the 2018 municipal elections approaching, there is not much time. Therefore, anyone in the KMT who is determined to take on this great responsibility must be hard-working, make their intentions known, be prepared and not leave things until the last minute. Otherwise, it will be very hard for them to win the post of party chairman. Although there is still a period of time until the KMT election next year, Wu Dunyi seems to be building political momentum at a local level, putting quite a bit of pressure on KMT chairwoman Hong Xiaoju.